Do you know that Telegram secret chats are unbreakable? Criminals have put this to the test, leaving law enforcers scratching their heads. But how does Telegram achieve this level of secrecy? We'll discuss that in this video, and at the end, I'll show you how to code it up by yourself. Unlike other apps that store your encryption key on their servers, Telegram stores their encryption key on your phone. Okay, but if Telegram generates the secret chats for you, then don't they have access to it? Well, that's the special part of this operation. Telegram does not have your encryption key. This means that only you and your partner have access to your secret chats. And they do this by incorporating the Diffie Hellman Key Exchange algorithm, which we'll be going through in this video. This algorithm basically gives you 5 easy steps to follow that you and your partner can use to generate the same key without anyone knowing. The algorithm starts by you and your partner knowing two prime numbers. Your partner then chooses their favourite number and you choose your own favourite number. Ideally, these numbers should be big like the prime numbers and your private keys, but big numbers require more computation. So. For now, we're going to take 5 and 23 as our prime number while you chose 6 and your partner chose the number 15. Okay, now we're ready. The next step is to generate a public key that you can pass to your partner and using that public key, both of you can derive the same secret key, which is just mind-blowing but here is the math for it. First, we take the prime number 5 and raise it to the power of 6. Next, we divide it by 23 and get the remainder. This is also known as the modulo operation, and our result would be 8. Next, we'll repeat this step with your partner's private key and the same pair of prime numbers. So we raise 5 to the power of 15, and we apply the modulo function with the modulus being 23. Now, we'll get the number of 19. These two numbers become our public key. After doing a swap, you and your partner can finally generate the secret key. You take your partner's public key which is 19 and raise it to your favourite number which was 6. You then apply the same modulo function with the same modulus being 23. And you'll get the number 2. Similarly, when your partner receives the public key of 8 and raise it to the power of 15 and apply the modulo function with the modulus being 23, they'll get the number 2. Now this becomes your shared secret key which nobody knows. This whole process ensures that only you and your partner have access to the secret key needed to decrypt your messages. Instead of just explaining the algorithm, let me show you the code so that you can further understand this algorithm. Okay, we will now be discussing the application that I've built to showcase the diffie hellman key exchange algorithm. So, first we create a room, and now we have joined the room with the room key 7371, and we're now waiting for someone to join. So, on the side we have our calculations, and this is a cipher string which we will be using to encrypt our messages. But don't worry, I'll walk you through. So to join the room, we copy and paste the same link into a different tab. And now we have two clients ready to perform the key exchange. We have the smaller client over here, which will be our client, and the bigger one on the left, which will be our partner's client. So now when I type hello, the message is all jumbled up because it is using a Caesar cipher. And how the Caesar cipher works is very simple. Say I type H, the letter H will be moved by 54 spaces. So you'll go I, J, K, L, M, L, O, P, so on, so on, until it hits the 54th character. It will loop around and all. But basically we have our client of 42 and 72. We use these numbers to derive the private key using the calculations discussed previously in the video. And now we have gibberish. So to see the actual message, we hit this button here and look, we get hello. And my partner can also do it on their side. And they can also send a message like hello from partner side. Hit send. 
And on our side, we will receive this message, which when we want to encrypt, we can turn on the cipher and it'll be gibberish. So let's dive into the code that runs this whole application. Over here, we have the caesarcipher.js, which does the, the encrypting of messages. We have the meat of this whole video, which is the Diffie Hellman key exchange, which is a class for variables and methods to perform the key exchange algorithm. Next, we have index.js, which is a server that uses Express.js. It's a simple server. And lastly, we have our chat.html, which, which is just the client that will send messages back and forth to the server. So let's discuss the Diffie Hellman key exchange.js. We have four variables. We have this function that generates a favorite number, which is just a random a function that generates a random number. Okay, and then we have this function to split the room key. As you can see here, we use 73 and 71. They are both prime numbers, but we split them up so that we have two prime numbers as discussed in our video, PNG. Next, we take PNG into this function to perform our first calculation, which is to take P, a prime number, raise it by our favorite number and apply the modulo function using G, another prime number, and we get our public key over here, public key 57. We then swap with our partner who has a public key of four. And now we do a swap. So four and 57. Then we set the public, the partner key, sorry. We set the partner key over here in this function. And lastly, we use that information to generate our private key. So we take our partner's public key, raise it to our favorite number, and apply the modulo operator, with the modulus being G, to get our private key. So over here, our private key is the same as our partner, which is 54. And that's how this whole thing works. On Telegram's end, when they see your messages coming in, they don't see the exact messages that you send. So if I were to uncomment this, restart the server and send a message like, hello, telegram can't see this. You see the gibberish comes up and on telegram side, it's all jumbled up. But your partner can see what you sent. And that is why Telegram's secret chats are unbreakable. If you want to see this code, it's again on GitHub. If you want to see a video on how the world's most expensive software bug occurred, do check this one out. Thank you.